hello welcome how to solve this nice algebra problem from here what is given we have m times m times m minus m times m equals to 100 that is here we can write this as m raised to power 3 minus m square equals to 100 from here and here let's take 100 to this side and this becomes m raised to power 3 minus m square minus 100 then equals to 0 from here and also here we can write this as m raised to power 3 minus m square then minus 100 written as 125 minus 25 then equals to zero from here and here we use this minus to open these brackets and this becomes m raised to power 3 minus m square then minus 125 plus 25 then equals to zero from here then also here this can be written as m raised to power 3 minus m square then minus 5 raised to the power 3 that's same as 125 then plus 5 square now equals to 0 from here and here let's bring the power of 3 together we have m raised to the power 3 minus 5 raised to the power 3 then we have minus m square plus 5 square now equals to 0 from here and from what we have here, we can also factor minus out here. Then this becomes m raised to power 3 minus 5 raised to power 3. Then minus into bracket m square minus 5 square left here. Close bracket. Now equals to 0 from here. From here, we group this together as well. Then when we apply the identity difference of two cube a raised to power 3 minus b raised to power 3 here, yeah? this same thing as a minus b, then into bracket a square plus a b plus b square. And also for this bracket, we apply difference of two squares, which implies a square minus b square equals to a plus b multiplied by a minus b then from what we have here the first bracket follow this which implies this, that become m minus 5 then into bracket m square plus 5m plus 5 square close bracket then minus the second bracket follow this which implies we have m plus 5 into bracket and close bracket open bracket m minus 5 then which is equals to 0 from here then here we have m minus 5 come on we can factor that out and we have m minus 5 then into bracket here we are left with m square plus 5m plus 5 square here that's 25 close bracket okay sorry please so that's all is left here then on this side we are left with minus into bracket m plus 5 then you can close bracket now equals to 0 from here then when we simplify for the minus open this bracket here then we have m minus 5 then into bracket m square plus 5m plus 25 here then here this becomes minus m minus 5 now close bracket equals to 0 from here and here we simplify this further and this becomes m minus 5 then into bracket we have m square 
plus 5 m minus m give us plus 4 m then 25 minus 5 we have plus 20 close brackets equals to 0 from here then here we have two cases we have m minus 5 equals to 0 or we have m square plus 4m plus 20 equals to 0 from here and on this side taking minus 5 here we have m equals to 5 then solving this quadratic equation here here a equals to 1 b equals to 4 and c equals to 20 from the formula which is m equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a then here yeah, m will be equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 square minus 4 times 1 times 20 then over 2 times 1 that is from what we have there m now equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of 4 squared that's 16 then minus 80 there then over 2 and here this becomes m equals to minus 4 plus or minus square root of minus 64 then over 2 and also here we can write this and separate it as m equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 times minus 1 then over 2 and what we have here becomes m equals to minus 4 plus or minus root 64 that's 8 and root minus 1 that's i then over 2 that is here we have m equals to we can factor 2 out up here then we have minus 2 plus or minus 4i left then over 2 which implies 2 here cancel each other and we have m now equals to minus 2 plus or minus 4i. So we have other two complex solutions from here. Now, altogether, we have three solutions from here. We have the first one, m1 equals to 5, which is a real solution. We have m2 from the complex solution. We have minus 2 plus 4i. And also the third solution which is m3 that is minus 2 minus 4i so here are the solutions to this given problem and thank you for watching don't forget the steps subscribe for more exciting videos and turn the description bell on share this video give it a thumbs up see you next class and bye for now